Hi everybody, in this video we're going to be looking at the topic of oxidation reduction reactions. These are also very commonly re uh, called redox reactions. The one that I've selected for us to look at is the reaction of solid copper with a solution of silver nitrate. This will actually produce a precipitate of silver producing a solution of copper nitrate. Uh, a little bit later on in the video I'll show you an actual um, experiment looking at this reaction. So let's take a look at this reaction and figure out why it is considered an oxidation reduction reaction. Um, so in order to help us out with that, uh, we want to really know about this ion. This is called the nitrate ion. It has a minus one charge. Um, this allows us to deduce charges for the silver and the copper. Uh, here, because there's one silver paired with one nitrate, we know that the silver must have a positive one charge because the compound has to be electrically neutral. Here we know that the, that the copper must have a positive two charge because it's paired with two copies of nitrate. So this allows us to figure out some things that happened during the reaction process. Silver starts out here with a plus one charge. However, after the chemical change, it's all by itself. It's in its pure elemental state. There it will have no charge at all. So it goes from being positively charged to being neutral. The copper goes from being in its pure elemental state, so it has no charge here, to having a positive two charge after the chemical reaction has taken place. The definition for an oxidation reduction reaction is when there are some particles which change charges. So we can see that the silver has um, actually um, had the number of electrons change. Uh, there was actually one electron that was added, I'll fix my grammar here in a moment, was added to the silver. This means that silver was reduced. The addition of an electron which is negatively charged will lower the charge going from positive to zero. The copper went from being neutral to having a positive charge. This means that it actually lost two electrons. Um, now here we can identify what's taking place with the copper. So we would say that the copper was oxidized during this reaction process. <clears throat> Excuse me. So again, the silver was reduced because electrons, uh, there was an electron that was added to the silver. The copper was oxidized because it lost electrons. Let's go ahead and take a look at this reaction. You can see I did a little holiday theme, so I have a Christmas tree. Thanks to Sue Carlson for helping me make that. Um, so this is solid copper wire, and uh, to that we're going to add to the beaker uh, some 0.1 molar silver nitrate solution. Um, and uh, we're going to see the reaction that takes place shortly here. Uh, I actually did a little bit of time lapse for you, so uh, really soon here this is going to switch to 32 times playback. Here we see it's going really fast right now. We can see the precipitation of solid silver along the outline of the tree. The other thing that I want you to notice is that the liquid inside of the beaker is turning kind of a blue color. Uh, this is because of the formation of the copper nitrate solution that will produce a blue tint. Um, so we're seeing really nice evidence of uh, this chemical change. Again, this is an example of an oxidation reduction reaction. Um, in just a second here, I'm going to just kind of tap here uh, to release the silver. There we can see it sink to the bottom. All right, there we go. Uh, what we're going to take a look at next in the in the video. Uh, this was another sample that was left for a much longer period of time. You can see lots and lots and lots of silver has been precipitated. And then finally, um, I want to show you some pictures of what the, uh, the precipitated silver looks like. It actually forms some really fantastic looking crystals. And I'd like to thank Crystal Zoo for taking these uh, pictures and sending them to me so that I could share them with all of you. So here we can see nice uh, nicely formed crystals of silver uh, from the result of this chemical reaction. So we see that image here, and here's another image of the solid silver that was formed during this single replacement reaction.